Hi everyone. Uh, go through the uh, lesson catalog creation. So after completing this lesson, we should be able to describe the key concepts of catalogs and categories. We should also be able to explain how to create and edit catalogs and we will see how to assign catalogs. So the first topic uh, is on overview of catalog and categories. So what is a catalog? So catalog uh, provides a mechanism uh, to identify a collection of items that share a business purpose. Uh, just to give an example, you may create a catalog uh, for say e-commerce uh, and another catalog uh, say for winter sports and a third catalog for say off-season sales. An item uh, when you create can exist in all these uh, multiple catalogs that is e-commerce catalog, uh, winter sports and also off-season sales. And what is a category? So instead of grouping all the uh, items in a one specific catalog together, so what we can do is we can make use of these categories which will basically help subdivide the catalog. So just to give an example, uh, under e-commerce catalog, uh, the e-commerce catalog example which we have taken earlier. So under the e-commerce catalog, we could create multiple categories uh, just to uh, give example there. Uh, if we create say office products, men's fashion, healthcare, gloves, etc. These are the few examples of categories. And we can also create uh, categories uh, just for hierarchical purposes or they can be constructed just for uh, just to create that hierarchy for easy navigation that is we do not have to necessarily add an item under a category we could add a category create a category under a category we could create another category just for hierarchical reasons and uh, just to give an example uh, if we have the healthcare category, so under the healthcare category, we can subdivide uh, that particular category into diet and nutrition and first aid care. So under the first aid care, if you want to further subdivide, we could uh, divide them into first aid kits and gloves. So this is how we could create categories. This uh, screenshot as which uh, you could see on the screen now uh, basically depicts an example of catalogs and categories. So the e-commerce catalog has multiple uh, categories arranged in a hierarchy. And gloves is just one of the examples which we have taken earlier. Uh, and uh, you could see here multiple gloves, uh, the items, uh, uh, GLV, uh, 10,000 GLV, 10,001, those are the multiple items which have been assigned to the gloves category. So this slide uh, basically lists some important uh, terms related to catalogs along with their description. So the first one is on catalog category association. Uh, this basically, uh, this association of the category to the catalog root or a category to a parent category and item category assignment represents the relationship between a category and an item and uh, the next one is reference category uh, so it's just it's a category that is shared as a reference category from a source catalog and leaf level category uh, it is the lowest level category in a hierarchy and um, we also have uh, already talked about uh, one of the example for uh, browsing category it's just uh, it's, a, it's a category just you add for uh, for the purpose of classification and we uh, do not uh, have items assigned to them we generally assign uh, the items to the leaf level category and we have uh, functional area rules so these are the seeded rules uh, that control the configuration and behavior of the catalog uh, that is created or assigned to a functional area. 
so um, item catalogs have two types uh, that is uh, the first one is functional area catalogs uh, that are created and maintained through the um, uh, uh, through the manage functional area catalogs task in the setup and maintenance work area that is FSM a functional setup manager and product catalogs are created and maintained in the product information management work area so you'll be able to see the product catalogs task from the task panel when you uh, click on the submenu product information management work area and uh, remember that the product hub catalogs cannot be assigned to a functional area so uh, the uh, we will be more uh, discussing about uh, more on the functional area catalogs which are basically primarily used to support other fusion applications that require integration uh, between the functional area catalog and the process within the application just to give an example say for example the purchasing uh, functional area catalog is integrated with the procurement process to allow the items assigned to the categories in this catalog to be used to support the uh, various purchasing process and uh, the product catalogs are uh, so where do we use the product catalogs the product catalogs are used to support additional process and integration with external applications so the next topic is on how to create and edit catalogs so there is a uh, demonstration uh, 6-1 uh, we will go through that uh, shortly uh, as part of the de this demonstration we will see how to create the catalog uh, from the product information management work area so uh, so before we go ahead and proceed with the next uh, few uh, slides let us go through the instance and see it ourselves how to create a catalog so i am currently on the home page uh, from this particular page if I click on the setup and maintenance so under the offerings so select the offerings uh, product management so I am selected the offering product management and under the product management select the functional area catalogs so select the catalogs as the functional area so, and you could see these are the uh, all tasks if you uh, click on manage functional area catalogs so now on this page you could see uh, against each of the functional area that is against each of the uh, uh, each functional area represents um, a specific to uh, a particular fusion application so now let us uh, select uh, say supply chain orchestration and click on this plus sign create so let us go ahead and create a catalog now so i'll say catalog uh, va so as soon as you uh, tab out of the catalog name uh, the catalog care code will get automatically populated so we could just uh, have a description created and let us provide a category name as well and uh, the category code gets automatically populated and let us click on save and continue So now uh, what we could do is we could we are currently on the edit functional area catalog page we are currently on the edit page edit catalog page so now select uh, this particular uh, so let us go ahead and create another category so let us go ahead and create another category uh, click on uh, the plus sign here create category 
and uh, let us create a uh, another category with the name category uh, 10 uh, ba and tab out and click on ok so now you have created another functional area uh, category now that you have created this particular category what we could do is we could just uh, select that particular category which we have created let us select let me select this category and as soon as you select this category you could see on the right hand side the category details so under that particular section under the details category uh, 10 ba details section let us select select and add click on select and add and search for any item which you want to add to that particular category so let us uh, say add as00110 as an item which we want to add to the particular category so click on search now select that particular item and click on ok so we have now added that particular item to that particular category now uh, once you do that you could uh, click on uh, the share category icon you could see here the share category icon here click on the share category icon so you are basically uh, sharing the categories here uh, with a catalog say in the drop down say search for e-commerce catalog and uh, select that particular e-commerce catalog as soon as you select uh, here and you could also add here in the drop down you could search for e-commerce catalog or you could click on search and uh, search for say e-commerce catalog you have already found it but in case if you are, if it is not shown the display lizard list click on ok and in the category hierarchy section search for say home uh, products click on search and now select this particular section uh, this particular um, uh, category name uh, home products and click on ok So you could now uh, what we have done so far is uh, we have uh, created a cat catalog and we have uh, seen how to add categories and items to that particular catalog. And uh, we also have seen how to create a category hierarchy by creating our own categories or adding to uh, or adding existing or shared categories to our catalog now click on save and close so let us go back and uh, look at the presentation rest of the presentation so uh, this is uh, this particular screenshots uh, depicts the manage functional area catalog space which we have just seen as part of the demonstration so the functional area catalogs are managed uh, through the functional setup manager task that is manage functional area catalogs and uh, some of the applications that use uh, these item catalogs uh, for various business flows uh, are uh, uh, as you could see here, uh, see purchasing, inventory, planning, cost, order entry, contracts, product reporting. These are the uh, various fusion applications which are uh, which use these item catalogs for various business process. So let us go through the next slide. So uh, and this is the. Uh, page creation catalog creation page and category creation page which we have already have seen so how to uh, add categories uh, by uh, by clicking on add new category which we've already have seen as part of the demonstration and 
Um, we also have seen how to edit the uh, functional area catalog page as well. How to get to this page also we have seen. So uh, this particular screenshot uh, on the slide depicts the category hierarchy tab in the edit catalog or the edit catalog master catalog page. So the category hierarchy tab contains the category hierarchy region in which the category hierarchy can be created and maintained. In addition to that, uh, items can be assigned. Uh, the usage of the category in other catalog can be viewed and the attributes uh, for the category and catalog uh, category association can be also edited. So uh, this particular screenshot uh, shows two ways in which you could uh, share the catalog content. Uh, one is by sharing by copying and the second one is sharing by reference. The sharing catalog content, uh, uh, the catalog sharing allows the reuse of categories or a category hierarchy across catalogs. So and assigning catalogs, this particular section uh, basically discusses how we can assign catalogs. So and um, automatic assignment of categories. So many of the uh, supply chain management applications uh, participate in the process uh, which automatically assigns an item being created to the default category in a functional catalog also if no catalog is assigned to the functional area the functional area is skipped in the automatic assignment process the automatic assignment process is triggered uh, when one or more item attributes owned by the functional area are set to specific value when the item is created Purchasing is a functional area and uh, has a functional catalog during the item creation if the value of the attribute is set to the seeded rule value the item will be assigned to the catalog that is assigned to the functional area. So with this uh, we have come to the end of this session on uh, the catalogs. So in this lesson, we have learned how to describe the key concepts of catalogs and categories. We have seen how to explain how to create and edit catalogs. And we also have seen how to assign catalogs. Thanks everyone.